Who remembers where we left the party? I just stabbed the guy in the face and a bunch of birds appeared. From the neck. That's what I remember too. That's what I remember. <laughs> Attack of the Angry Birds. Yes, you guys stabbed him, uh, Proskler, in the neck, and as he lay dying, he uh, told you that you would yet meet the cold breath of his master soon enough as he billowed out this in spurts of blood from his, you know, from his mouth. And as he passed this, the clouds started to coalesce and congeal into... Uh, a number of these flying uh, creatures uh, throughout, uh, all of them with uh, motes of red light burning within their, their eyes. They are all apparently extremely excited to see you, uh, very angry, menacing eyes, um, as they start swirling around you in, in a vortex. Uh, to the north side of the wall, you do have the two uh, two guards who are still attempting to clamber up the uh, the the side of the walls there, um, and uh, along with the what what Elden would recognize uh, in in the the chaos as uh, blood hawks, you also uh, seem to be bookcased by two large uh, winged creatures that appear to be hippogriff in nature. So, that said, we came to this battle at the top of the, uh, the, top of the round. Um, so, Korn had just finished his attack. Which will take us into, let's see, we have the knight down here. and Oh, I have movement left. I, I'm not yeah, 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 go ahead. Go ahead and uh, finish your movement. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. So, so, you just move it down like, no, no, I'll die. Um, yeah, you yeah you moved down. You stabbed him. So you were somewhere in, if I recall correctly, you were somewhere over here, right? Right. I probably used about half my movement. That's down there. that sounds about right. All right. So seeing all this shit just pop up around me, I am going to use my bonus action dash to the trap door and jump inside. Just like, you know, screw down the ladder and get down there somewhere. Okay. I don't know how much of that would take, so so we'll maybe say right there. And I'm done. Alrighty. Give me just a second. I'm making sure that I have all of my uh, um, sheets up. While I'm doing this, who remembers what the purpose, uh, where, why we are here? Trying to save that guy right there. We're trying to save Larch, the prone guy, right? Yes, we were trying to do that for, I believe, the uh, one of the the senior cloaks, and if I recall correctly, his name was Nelvin Dejune. All right, so you had found your way, you went. So where you landed there seems to have been more than half of your movement. I bonus action dashed. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Are you going to do anything with your uh, mage hand that's kind of camping out there in the middle? No, uh, I used my bonus action already. He's okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so uh, the knights uh, who are outside here, we did have a little bit of a retcon there uh, because I'd forgotten about how they ended up scaling things. Uh, so... They had to climb up 30 feet, and we're going to make them make a check on this one to see if they can do this. And a six shall not do that. Uh, so he uh, is going to 
just ready in action uh, to shoot if he if he gets wind or catches sight of anybody, which is going to be unlikely. This guy is dead. Him from the turn order. So we at we now have um, the first bird um, who is okay. This guy right here. He's going to swoop in five, ten, fifteen. Going to dive bomb. An attempt to... Half speed inside the yellow. Oh, yes, yes, I see that now. Well, the bird wouldn't know that. Um, he saw the first thing that caught his eye, and he has to do a wisdom save, right? Um, yes. Uh, where'd it go? Doesn't matter what it is, 20's going to pass it. Right, but he still takes half damage, so... Um, uh, all right. Do I have to roll the damage again? Yes, I think you do. I think that's how we've ruled it in the past. Okay, so... Where are you? And Raziel, you're on deck. So and, nine uh, damage. His movement is halved as well. Okay, well, they, he's still got more than enough to make it where he is. Howsoever, if he's going to take uh, half of that damage... Uh, tell us what these spirit guardians do to this uh, small, small beast. As the <laughs> as the um, what is this thing? A red hawk or a? Oh no! I'm sorry. T I take that back. Nope. He's just really bloodied. Okay. Well, all right. I was looking at the wrong card. Close enough. But let's go ahead and tell you. Let's see what they did. He did not kill him, but he came game damn close. So you want me to? Describe yeah, tell, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell so us. As like, he entered the the the, the range, a light uh, encircled it, and a flash of of radiant damage uh, just hit the. It, it was a red hawk. Or what was it again? A blood hawk. A blood hawk hit the blood hawk as it entered into the um, into the sphere. And so I'm imagining, you know, feathers and plumage are just kind of just exploding off this thing. As and as it comes by and it's dive bombing uh, at Thongram, it tries to it tries to just peck right at his face. Seventeen. Um, oh. Does his rage give him anything to his AC? I no, don't no. think it does. Okay, so a 17 is going to be a hit. For th one piercing damage, because he'll take half damage. Because he is raging right now. All right, so for the remainder of his, this bird's movement, he's going to, he is flying past, and so that's going to be, this will give, when he's going to swoop on this way, but Thongram's going to get, he's going to take his opportunity, he's going to take a whack at him. I need to get his sheet up, sorry. He manages to catch him, to catch the bird with his axe. Which, as he's flinging it down, he manages to cleave the bird in half as it's trying to escape. So Raz, you are up. Whoops, uh, it's, it is your turn by the way. Sorry, I managed to skip you. 
Yeah, seeing how Elden Spear Guardians are probably the safest place to be right now. I will bait some of these birds to come towards me. So I'm going to attack this one first. Actually, I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to throw up the horns. I'm going to hex this one right here. You're going to hex it? I'm going to hex it. And I'm going to bounce it around a little bit. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to throw one of my Eldritch Blast. I lost you at Eldritch Blast. My screen just froze. Hey, a bunch of stuff happened. All right. So I, I heard you were going to uh, hex this guy. And then Eldritch Blast him. Okay, so we'll do the first one first. Uh, what does Hex do? It adds a d6, and unless I specify otherwise, it's going to give him a uh, disadvantage on strength. Okay, so um, the f so which one hit first? You, you did the, the 27? Yeah, the 27. All right, so the 27 is definitely a hit. Nine with my, Go ahead. Then with my second blast, I'm going to hit this one down here. And that is a hit, too? For 13, ironically. All right. So, uh, tell us what happens to the one down, down here. Uh, I pop him right in the beak. And it collapses his nose, and he just kind of suffocates to death and falls. That's gruesome. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> and then I shout to the one I hexed. Uh, 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 come to get me! Then I nuzzle up next to see what I know. All right. So that bird is, you know, he's hurting. Um, you can transfer hex, right? Yes. Okay, I was wondering if I seemed to overkill on these guys. But I guess. It, w it would have been, yeah. <laughs> overkill that still failed to kill. Well, that one is... Uh, he is his plumage is uh, is significantly less. You can smell some roasted poultry here. Um, you know, you would imagine Thongrim's mouth is starting to water just a little bit. All right, so that is your attack. You have moved. Anything else? Be done. All right. So let's see what happens here. This guy um, comes back and is going to swoop down here and attempt to. Hello. Hello. He is going to swing down and attempt to peck uh, Thongram as well. That is a hit. That was the wrong thing. So for three damage. Fangram, to the best of your ability, or you're remembering you were raging, correct? At the end of the last battle. So this guy's going to skirt along that way. Um, I'm using his movement. The next bird comes and enters. He's going to swoop down here, but he's going to enter this the uh, guardian's range here. Uh, it's going to. What's the DC on that thing? Twelve. Jeez. 14. 14. Yeah, he failed that. So, so damn it. Yes, please. Of course. Six. All right. So that was five, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, so he comes down and attempts to munch down on you. 
Uh, 18 is going to be a hit. Yes, it is. For three damage. And... Fifty, sixty. Uh, you can take a. All right. So that Constitution save does. I'm thinking you probably failed your concentration check. Yep. All right. So the guardians, uh, as they were there, they end up dissolving from around you, and this. This space becomes significantly more dangerous for the party. Um, Howsoever, as it tries to flutter away, uh, you do have an opportunity attack if you choose to take it. Oh, I might as well take my swing at this point. Uh, let's see. It's this one. Ooh, critical. Yes, that is a hit. And I believe this staff, I don't think... Wait, 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 it's wait. It's inanimate. I have not activated it, so... Okay, I thought she... Okay. All right, so we'll say it's inanimate. So it's a 22. Uh, so that's going to be six damage. Uh, tell us what you do to this bird. As I, as I lose concentration and I... Focus, down, focus on the bird that came at me and just swing the staff at it, flailing and just knock it out of there. And it goes, and we're safe for flavor. You see it fly over the wall as you just end up connecting, and it just flies out of, off the wall and out of you, out of you. Damn birds. All right. That said, uh, the bird that has the hex has come down and managed to pivot in midair. <laughs> uh, it comes swooping down towards Raziel. Uh, with an 11. I'm sorry, go ahead. I said no. You dodge out of the way as he swoops on by. Um, so that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he's, he's attempting to dive bomb you, and he comes through, and he's going to move through 20, uh, across the battlefield. But it opens up an opportunity attack from both you and Siona. I will take it. Nor will Siona. Okay. So, the Hippogriff comes through uh, with its big whippy wings and starts um, fluttering through. Uh, 7, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Swoops forward, and is using 30, and he is going to make uh, two attacks, once with his beak and once with his claws. So he reaches down and attempts to peck at, uh, at Eldon. Miss. Are you still at AC 14, Eldon? 15. I have him at 15. And as as you manage to dodge out of the way, he swipes at you with his with his claws, just managing to catch you right along the arms, and uh, managing to uh, you know get you for you know seven damage there. Um, and oh, how much damage did I take from the other th three? Yes. All right, so that was 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, um, 60. He swoops on by. Uh, he manages to get in. He 
he would open up an opportunity with uh, Raziel as he gets by this, as he flies through this square right here. So Raziel can, if you wish, you can take an opportunity. No. All right. So that said, Eldon, you are up. Thongrim, you are on deck. All right. Well, that was interesting. Um... Gotta get that Warcaster feet. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got lots of stuff. So. Actually, I'm gonna move right there um, to try and get a little better protection. Fortunately, we just leveled a little while ago, so I can cast that again. Aha. So I'm going to cast up the Spirit Guardians again. Um, and let me. Put my 15 on. No, not 154. 15. Okay, I'm um, just going to say, guys, protect me. And then I'm also going to use my bonus action to activate the Staff of Adder. Um. And I hope everybody still remembers that they have, I gave five extras hit points to three different people too, somewhere. So, um. I think mine were gone pretty quick. No, but they're permanent. So if we heal, we can, you can get them all back. They're permanent for eight hours. Right. But I think I, I lost them all. The current version of them. Right. Right. Or, do, or did you cast eight after I got hit? I might actually have them still. So, yes. I cast cast eight after you were damaged. That's also, right. Okay. But, but remember, I had given you some temporary hit points, but then I had to lose concentration to give the, to take, so those were taken away. So you probably netted about the same. Uh oh. All right, so you have moved, you have cast, um, and you've used your bonus action to activate the staff. That should be... They protect me, guys! <laughs> All right. So, Thongram, you are up. All right, so anything I need to be aware of real quick? You have managed to be attacked twice by some angry birds and taken some, some measly pecks across the cheek. Uh, and drawn some mild blood for loss of four damage. Um, is everything flying high, or is everything basically reachable should you get to it? Everything has been kind of using a dive bomb attack pattern at this point, so they are all flying fairly high. Okay, so you can't reach anything that's necessarily right where we are? Not, no, not necessarily, no. Mm-mm. But all the opportunity attacks, you did manage to kill one of the birds. Uh, this this one right here, it, at it attacked you and you caught it in air uh, with your axe as it tried to fly off. All right. Well, let's see. I will move here and then just ready my attacks against dive bombing. Okay. Uh, not that awesome. Alrighty. So, that said... Give me just a second. This, this, okay, this gaseous form um, starts uh, to move in, and it's, let's see here, one, two, three, six, 
Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, and it's going to move 10, 15, 20. Actually, it's going to, since it is a large creature, it's going to engulf uh, this this gaseous cloud moves forward into the uh, sphere of the spirit guardians. Um, and first it's going to make its wisdom save. So it's going to take full damage. That is, it has the movement to get there at half yep. speed? Uh, yes. Uh, um... The concentration check that you failed, wait, was that for Spear Guardians or our maximum? It was for Spear, for what? Aid is not concentration. Aid is not concentration, that's why I could have it at the same time as uh, as Spear Guardians, so. Oh wait, I I forgot something. Uh, I completely forgot that Siona has an ability now. What did you roll? The eight? Were you within ten feet of her? Not, not at the time. No. Where was he at? I was where I was where Thongram is. So that's oh. ten feet, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. I. Sorry. I thought you were there. He made his uh, save. Then he gets a plus two to all saving throws. That would totally retcon the whole move I just did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll just say going forward. Yeah. I forgot she has. Has that everyone gets plus two to all saving throws if you're within ten feet of her. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Well, so, go ahead. Twenty. That cloud just took twenty radiant damage. Yes, it did. Damage. Yes, it did. And it is still sitting there, burbling with rage as it has engulfed, um, engulfed uh, everybody there. Um, and it is going to, the winds around you start to rage. Um, oh, okay, that's, I, I see what you're doing. Got it. That's the honest thing. All right. So as, uh, as this wind, as this starts to uh, envelop you, the winds start to rage uh, and burn, and, and, and not burn, but whip around you. Uh, in a vortex as uh, you all are engulfed in this whirlwind. And I need the three of you to uh, give me a strength check. A uh, strength saving throw, I'm sorry, of uh, DC 13. That was the last we saw of Eldon. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, I'll use my extra green to reach out and grab Elvin and save him. I don't think my plus two is going to help no, you on that one. I, I don't think you can critically save. Um, you extra save means you save for everybody, right? Uh, yeah, that's. I don't think that's how that works. All right, so uh, we got two two failures and one save. Let me read this. Oh, no, no. Uh, he's a, he gets a plus two to he that. He gets plus two. That is my plus two. That's oh, my that it, yeah, oh, that is his okay. plus two. Yeah. All right. So let me read this wall of text. On a failure, a target takes 3d8 plus two bludgeoning and is flung 20 feet in a random direction and knocked prone. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um I guess turnabout's fair play. We knock them all off the wall. Yeah. Now that a creature must succeed. All right. So Thongram's going to take half damage, half of half damage. I think that's how it doesn't the rage uh, stack. Yeah, it's half of whatever. Yeah. Okay. So three d eight plus two first. All right, so Raziel and Eldon both take 16 damage, and Thongram takes four. Now we get to uh, 
we get to roll a dice I don't roll very often. I get to roll a d8. Did you save? Spirit, Spirit Guardians holds true. All right, so now we're going to do the random damage or the random flinging. So you know, just just read this. I think Tastangram takes no damage. No, he take if saving throw the six. That, yeah, down, there's down two up. saving throws. The top the top one is on DC thirteen. Failure takes three D eight plus two when it's thrown. If the target is thrown at another creature, we that haven't done that. We haven't done that. Yet. I know. The top part doesn't say half damage. It just says on a failure, take damage. Yes, but the bottom clause is the one that is, if the saving throw is successful, because this is the first time they've mentioned the successful one, the target takes half the bludgeoning damage and is not flung. So he's still wow, going to take... This is such a I know, poorly written thing. Yeah, it's poorly written. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to roll the dice in random directions, uh, So, but we're going to do this. The square to the top of you is going to be one... And then around clockwise, two, three, all the way around where this is going to be eight. So, Eldon, uh, Eldon, you are first, and I am rolling a one. No, that is a seven. So you are going to be flung at Siona for, uh, let's see here, sorry. And if that is, that target is another creature. All right, so you're going to take 1d6 for being hit. So I'm essentially not moved because I've thrown into Siona? Yeah, pretty caught, much. She caught you. Uh, just like you asked. Yeah. Uh, and then that creature must... Okay, so Siona needs to roll a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Well, here's the other part. It says for every 10 feet thrown. He wasn't thrown 10 feet, but let me go from dexterity. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? All right, so. This has got to be one of the worstly written. I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is awful. Okay, so, so you hit another creature, that creature being Siona. So Siona has to succeed on a DC 13 saving throw or take the same damage that you just took, the three damage. So she was not damaged, which is important. All right, so now that that's been done, uh, Eldon, you are. I need another. Uh, Constitution saving throw for you because you just took another damage and you are going to be prone. I have to save what? You took another bout of damage, so we need another Constitution saving throw. And that with your plus two from Siona. Um, it only has to go over ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but yes, you still saved. Yes. All right. Now, Raziel, you are going to be flung. Uh, due east. Uh, and that is 20 feet. Direct. No, I'm Direct. sorry. The, to the Direct. left. To the left. I'm sorry. Oh, that's west. West. Yes. One. Yeah. So 20 feet that way. 5, 10, 15. Your other east. Yeah. yeah your other east. <laughs> well, that last map got us so screwed up with directions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So that is. Um, I would have laughed. It was thrown into so <laughs> two D six or one D six for every ten feet. No, that's if he hit something. What you looking like, Raz? Oh, didn't he? No, hit... said that's no longer a wall, right? That, or, no, or is it a wall? We can just see. No, it's not. No, it's not a wall. But wouldn't he? If he strikes an no, object such old. as a such as a wall or floor. Again, How do you this, not strike the. Floor? I, I know he he gets he gets flung. Uh, if you're, I, mean, I guess technically, if you're a flying creature, you could get flung and still. Yeah. And go straight down. I've got to interpret that as you hit something with amount of percussion. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah. gonna say this. Oh, this didn't happen. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. That that one doesn't make sense here. All right. So, maybe, but maybe you should have rolled a bigger dice and like some of them were diagonally up, and straight up. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, this is going to be the Wonkavator. <laughs> 3D 
vector system for 3D and D. What? Mind blown. All right. So I think we have now gone through and done everything that he has done. Um, so uh, let's see here. That was fun. Let me make sure. You know what? We're going to leave him right there. I think that's, um, that sounds fun. So that said, his turn is over. We now have this knight down here who's going to attempt to scale the wall with his, uh, uh, his, where is it? His athletics throw. And did not. So he's going to ready another action in case he happens to see anybody to attack with his short bow. Bird. Another Bloodhawk takes it and takes his action and is going to swoop down. Uh, first, he's going to do his um, saving throw for the Spirit Guardians. He passes that. Then Thongram is has his attack readied. Half damage. So I get two attacks. Does that mean they're both ready individually, or do no, I have I think, to use them both? I think you time? only get one. And then I probably just the first one in triggers it. Right? Yes, just the first one. Basically, but, you're readying an opportunity attack. Yeah, what I'm saying is I basically can't. No, no, not this one. You know, the first right. guy is gonna. Yeah. Yeah, this is your reaction. And so. So it's going to be an 11. Uh, plus two. Plus two. Where's the plus two? The rage? Yeah. Okay. That uh, 13 is going to hit then. And uh, the 10 will do it. Uh, what do you do to this poor bird? Uh, cleave it in half as he's kind of or cleave a wing off as he's kind of dive bombing and let him kind of skitter on a blood streak. Nice. All right. Um, bird number next. Um, okay. So this one comes swooping in. And is going to do his wisdom save. Alright, throw the damage at us. For seven. And he's going to peck at Thongram. And he's going to miss. No. So that. So he's going to zip on by and manage to be over here. Okay, so Eldon has already used his opportunity attack this round. Uh, no, not since yes. I had. Yes, you did. Because you, you right. used it earlier to knock this one off I, the edge. Right, and I've had my turn since then. That is right. It's not per round. Um, it's 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 from turn to turn. To, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just couldn't remember where where that had happened. You were correct. I'm sorry. Yeah. So go go for it. You want to use it or not? Um. How bad did that guy look? He. Uh, he's bloodied. I'll let him. I'll leave him. Okay. Siona is up. Okay, she is going to look at the air elemental and cast Hunter's Mark on. And then just pull out her axe and swing away. 
Uh, 14 is a miss. The air splits as the axe comes barreling down. Is there anywhere I could move to get... I guess you can't really flank someone who's engulfing them, but... So, well, she's going to take another swing. That is a hit. 13 plus... Another one for Hunter's Mark, so 14 damage. All right. Anything else? Um, no, she is done. All right. Next bird comes swooping down a good five feet right at Raziel. Uh, Come out to me, bro. And <laughs> just doesn't, doesn't do anything. Just, I don't even know how you would fumble that. I mean, <laughs> Um, so he misses and, um, swoops on by what is happening? He swoops on down, um, using the rest of his, uh, his movement. Uh, I'm going to move down here. Did you have any opportunity attacks? I think that you did. You haven't taken any reactions that I'm aware of. I'm holding it. Okay. Alrighty. So, this guy flips his wings down and comes closer uh, over to uh, Raziel. And Hippogriff. Uh, where it is. He first is going to multi-attack and he's going to swipe at you with his claws. Uh, first, that's going to miss your... Uh, actually, you're prone. Because you were flung. Right? Oh, really? Yes. Uh, then, yeah, that's a hit. Go, let me go back and make sure. Read this random... It is. Okay. Random direction and not prone. Okay, so yes, you were prone. That's... Uh... Does that mean I'm prone to? Yes. Okay. And that Bloodhawk 16 is going to hit too. Yes. Okay, so that was for the beak. That was uh, six piercing from it. Um, and then the claws from the Hippogriff is 12 slashing. So. And then he's going to attempt to bite down on you. Yeah, that's a hit. For another eight. So that's 26 total. Ooh, I'm looking pretty bad. And this guy is going to sit there and not necessarily teabag you, but he's going to prone and pre uh, You know, he's... He's confident he's, that he's made a good attack and he's going to sit here over top of you. So, this brings us around the bend to the top of the round and Corin, who is safely inside the tower. I'm just going to sit here and chat. No, <laughs> How tall was that ladder to get back up? About 10 feet. Do some counting real fast. All right, well, seeing as how people are not coming, you know, down with me, I'm going to pop my head back up. I'm just going to go to the, you know, the top of the, the peek my head up the trap door with my hand crossbow and take a shot at... I guess that I guess they're the hippogriff hitting Raz. All right, hang on. So that's uh, I, I see what you're doing there, but let me see what Raziel's trying to do. 
Uh, I don't see why you can't use cutting words while you're prone. You can do whatever you want while you're prone other than run. So I guess I'll, seeing the little bird come at me, I I will try. Okay, so you would just need to hit uh, a one, right? Yep, and I'm good. Yeah, okay, so go ahead and take that, that damage back. Okay, I'm done. So that that does not change the uh, twenty that was uh, the the hand crossbow uh, bolt uh, that was flung at the hippogriff. So that is a hit. So that is twenty five damage. That is uh, that is a lot of damage. Preen this motherfucker. <laughs> then I pulled the. He's I still climbed down. And- yeah, well, by the way, he's still he's up, up, but he is he is hurting. That's oh. good. That. So I just take go back down the ladder, a couple things, and pull the trap door, you know, closed. All right. So we're back to the knights that are down here, and they are once again going to attempt to uh, join the fray. And that was my, I was going with a 15 to climb it. So this guy has scaled the wall, um, but the, that was his action, I guess. So he's now up there and I guess he can't really move per se. So he's there. Yay him. Raziel, it is your turn. Uh, I got to get the fuck out, so I'm going to action disengage. All right, and then half your uh, half your move is going to be spent standing up. Yep. I will go there, and I guess I'm done. Uh, you got a bonus no, action? I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bonus action. Heal. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself, actually. Woof. Two plus five. I still need to figure that out. Oh, okay. Well, that's seven's much better than two. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. So, first bird comes swooping back around and will attempt to dive bomb Raz because he is close. For 23. Yep. Take three. And he's going to swoop on by. And that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 40. 45, he's going to swoop on using the rest of his action. Do you want to uh, take a opportunity attack? Is he hurt at all? Uh, nobody has managed to touch this bird. Nah. Okay. Bird number two. Uh, the one that was previously hexed. Oh, um, I guess that's a good question. Do you want... The, moving the hex is a bonus action, right? Correct. Okay, so he's going to stick on this guy then. So he's going to turn around and... So first off, uh, he is going to do his wisdom saving throw. That's an 11. That's a failure. Elden, throw us some damage. That is 13. Uh, what do you do to this charbroiled bird? It's as if there's a giant windshield right there of light that just he hits and just poofs into a singed, radiant ball of light. All right. So, Thongram, as this bird hits this wall, you are just the bits of burnt and charred feathers just come pelting at you and cover you in just charred viscera. Of a of a hawk. Is any of it edible? 
I, I mean, I, I mean, I suppose it's been cooked. I mean, maybe some of it fell in your mouth. Let's see. Um, actually, no. Was uh... there a, like a chicken wing? I can, uh, you know, a leg. I can reach up and have a turkey. All right, so we're going to say that uh, I ran, uh, or I rolled a seventy-seven percent chance. So seventy-seven percent of it hit you in the face. I'm going to grab it and take a bite. All right. Random hawk pieces. <laughs> Spit out some feathers and yeah, get whatever that comes along. All whatever right. intrinsic benefits or, you know, not benefits come from eating mildly burnt hawk, <laughs> I will accept. Well, we're going to say that you have some, uh, maybe some indigestion. Um, you know, he's got po he's got poison constitution. Yeah, I mean you're not. Yeah, I mean you you've got an iron stomach, so you're just going to be like, oh, okay, but you're going to be fine. But no fighting for thirty minutes after you eat. Yeah, so otherwise you'll drown. <laughs> okay, so which one of these guys? All right, this guy, the hippogriff swoops down and alights on top of the trap door. Um, sitting down on top of it and attempts to um, he's seeing what he, what's the other guy has done and he's going to attempt to chomp down uh, on on some tasty bard here hit for six and swipe down with claws uh oh for nine, out. we have a bard down, and we have a hippogriff who's sitting there, all proud and preening, and sitting there showing off and looking at, mighty proud of himself. Uh, Elden, you are up. Thongrim, you are on deck. So I raise my shield up, which is my holy has my holy symbol on it, and call on my divinity to restore oh, okay, sorry. Trying to send it in. I think that's the one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, how many points to halfway for for you, um, Raz? Say that again. How many points to half your half your hit points? I can only raise you up to half half your map. Twenty six. Or yeah. well, I'm at zero technically, so twenty. Oh, that's a lot. Um, and if you have aid, you get that, you know, 10 on top of that. Divided by two. He raised me up. <laughs> I aided um, everyone but him. Uh, Siona, Corrin, and um, Thornton Grimm with, with an upcast, so they each have the additional 10, but Raz, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. think I did Raz. I don't think you did either. Or did I not do Siona? No, well, I you, did. you did Siona. I'm showing oh. a maximum hit points of 50, which is more than my normal. So oh. you definitely top hit me. Oh, no, it was um, it was Thongram I didn't do. Yeah, the one guy who doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do Thongram. Okay, so you have... Um, I'm going to give you 20 of my 30 that I can do. I'm going to give myself 10. How does negative HP work? There's not negative HP. Okay. Older editions. Okay, that's that's where I was getting it from. You live! Yay! You're prob probably prone again, right? I would say that. Probably. I would say yeah, you're prone. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm all. Let's see. So. Do that. 
And so if I move to there, that's not an opportunity attack, is it? No, you were still within a threatened space. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get to Raz, and then I'm also... Oh, no, I can't do... Oh, I, get, I guess I don't need to get that close. Well, I'll go there because that'll get that beat, dude. So how does it work when you cast a spell and you've already got concentration on another spell? It only matters if both spells are concentration. Yeah, okay. I can cast spells. I'm just, no other... just making sure, because I don't remember if we've done that before. Right. The way it works is as soon as you start casting a concentration spell, you the... lose con any other concentration you had. Okay, all right. I'm good. Okay, so um, actually I didn't... Well, in that case, I'm only going to go to there. Because that gets the hippogriff in the circle, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go to there. Um, and then I'm going to use healing word on my bonus action is he healing word on Raz as well. At, oh shoot, how many do I have? Um, I'll up level at one, so at level two. So you get 15, and I get 4. That's a hell of a healing word. Yeah, that's, that's a level cool. 2 healing word for you? Yeah, when you take life domain, you can you do a lot of points. It's tight. <laughs> so, um, and that gives me 4. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, let's see. Now, so the rule on moving, and since this is my turn as he's entered, does it? I want to double check. No, it would happen on their turn. Yeah, it's at the start of their turn. Right, but it's a guarantee they have to take it at this point. Yes, they yes. they've got to they've got to do the wisdom saving throw at this point. Yes. Um, so that. I did my bonus, a move, and a action, so I'm set. All right. Thongram, you are up. Hi, right, I'm going to... Uh... Wait, wait, one second. I just did the math. I could only take nine of my, um, my divine intervention. So one more point to uh, uh, Raz and one less to me. Woohoo! You went from dead to feeling pretty damn good. Or at least, all right. <laughs> yeah, but one more round until I'm dead again. <laughs> you got more hit points than I got. All right, Thongram, back to you. All right, so I'm going to... You know, with a kind of throw down this burnt chicken wing I'm eating, <clears throat> and kind of with a mouthful of, uh, you know, hawk meat in my mouth, uh, run, uh, just kind of blindly charge towards this hippogriff, you know, which sounds sort of like. Leave leave my bard alone, but it's going to sound a lot more like with a mouthful of meat, and just kind of charge it and kind of tackle it uh, and kind of hold on. My ultimate goal, I guess, will kind of be to mount it. But if me and the hippogriff go over the edge, then the gods have willed it so. I would oh. just like to say I called it. That you did. <laughs> so, uh, you are going to be charging at um, this this guy North right here. One, yeah. yeah. All right. So, so I'll take an opportunity, I guess, from Smokey McCloud over here. Yes, from the Smoke Monster. So, 
So you will take five because it rolled for critical. How is it? So 11 divided by two for your rage. So rounding down, that's five. Yes. What yep. was critical about that? It, the it, advantage attack. The advantage attack. Because I'm in here. Advan- if he had advantage, it would have been a critical. Yes. But we're taking the first number, which was the 26. Okay, so five damage. Which will take you down to... No, that is with the five damage. Got it. All right, so you're running towards him, and you are attempting, I guess, to grapple. Is that what it is? Grapple, tackle... I don't know whatever that is. It's a... It's going to be an attack. It's a grapple with momentum. So however yeah. you want to. All right. So uh, let's do an athletics check, and let's say um, the uh, the grapple is going to be against his. Um, would that be a dexterity save? So it's going to be uh, a d twenty plus one. All right. So <laughs> let's see what the AC is to grapple him. Okay. A 15. So let's see what happens. Well, that didn't work. (laughs) Ole. You do have a second attack, though. So I'm going to... um, my original plan of charging the bird and grappling it is going to now be replaced by trying to attempt to grapple the bird as I roll over it accidentally and to save myself from now falling off the edge I will attempt to grasp onto one of its wings uh, to save myself from going over the edge. Okay, so would anybody object uh, through all of this of adding, maybe making this a dexterity check since he's trying to do all this? Well, well, well. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how a four foot tall grip, uh, dwarf is going over top of a large grip of grip. We'll say under then. I was charging yeah. for his neck and he, re- yeah. he reared up. And so I, he olayed me uh, with my critical failure. And then um, I will be. Uh, Attempting now to grab a wing and keep myself. Yeah, yeah. there is a wall there. You're just going to basically smash into a wall if you run by him. Yeah, is it a wall or is it the well the edge? Now he's sitting. No, there is a there is a pair. Of, what is it? A rampart? Embattlements. Embattlements. Yes. So there's an embattlement there that we said it's about four feet tall. So if you you know you missed the first time, you would have hit. You probably would have hit that. Um, so, and probably. Probably right, well, taking then I will, some damage. I will there. adjust it slightly to do super wicked parkour and then grapple him. Just want to fall off, don't you? Yeah, I'm good with this. Roll it. Parkour! Hardcore! Parkour! Parkour! parkour. But is this athletics? Alright, this won't matter well. Yeah, it, I mean, it's your choice. I mean, I, I kind of like where the story's going. <laughs> I because mean, when I think Lord of the Rings, I think Gimli just do it all. <laughs> I know. It. It's kind of why I really That's want this to be a, right. a, a dexterity check, because he's like, he failed the first one, now he's like, oh, shit, I'm trying to reach back and grab it to save. <laughs> uh, you know, that, that's just how I envisioned it. So, After his 10-foot charge. <laughs> hey, hold on. I am inspired, right? Yes. Oh, all right. Yes. I have a... He still has to roll off his defense down. Oh, he has to. Yeah, he has the first one. Yes, you're right. All right, but if it, except I have a one d six, I think, right? Yep. All right. You might not want to use it. Roll high, baby. You, you might high. want to because otherwise you may be <laughs> you may be taking a dive. <laughs> All right, so you didn't fail spectacularly. You came close. Um, so we're going to say that you did not um, 
You did not uh, grapple him, but as through all this, you're going to end up here. You've managed to save yourself from careening over the edge, and since I, I don't want you to be underneath him, we're going to say you land here, just to this edge of him, kind of teetering on the in, in battlement there. Battlement. There's battlement. I'm going to call it whatever the hell I want to call it. It is the embezzlement shimfit. Big rock. Right, well, I got nothing else. Hey, but it was entertaining, and that's what I like. It would have been spectacular. It would have been. I'm disappointed that it did not work better. Weird is, because this thing's large and can fly, but according to the rules, had he grabbed it anywhere, it could just, it couldn't move. Yeah. Grappling uh, yeah. rules are weird. Tis what it is. All right, so... The air elemental. Um, why? That's why did you try to grapple the air elemental? <laughs> and it would have worked, I bet. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no rules against it. Okay, so he... I don't know why that is there. All right, so first off, the air ele elemental has to do a wisdom saving throw. Which he fails, so fling some damage at it. Oof. I think you're doing more damage than all of us combined. Yes, he yes he has. It's really kind of making me frustrated that everybody keeps running away from me and not protecting me. <laughs> okay, so uh, he, so he did that. He's not prone. He just took the damage, right? There is no prone. There is no prone. Okay. Half speed. Half speed. All right, well, regardless. All right, so he's going to shift up here. Oh, he's got to do a recharge real quick. Did not recharge. Okay, so he's sitting there, and he is, um, for his first attack, he is going to slam into Elden. Missed. It is a miss. Well, you know what? He's going to do it again. He did not miss that time. Nope. 16. He picked you up in the air and just pummeled you. Like, imagine this like a suplex type moment and just movement and pounded you into the ground. So, give us a constitution saving throw, yeah, please. Screw you! <laughs> yes, but you have still taken significant damage. Oh yeah, I'm down to seven hit points, but hey! Yes, but the, the spirit guardians are still there. <laughs> All right. I did more damage you <laughs> all right so we've got a knight here somewhere okay so this guy um because i'm coughing up blood <coughs> all right what the hell's happening here you know what they still they he's still going to try, attempt to scale the wall here And does not, so he is going to... Well, that was his action. So, all right. So, next. We have this hawk here. Uh, and Siona's going to be on deck. So this hawk's going to fly around to this um, this side of uh, Thongram. And he is going to... Um, he's going to... Read his check here. So he gets advantage on this attack because of pack tactics. And one of his uh, allies is within five feet of the creature that is... All right, so he gets advantage to try to peck at Thongram. 
So that's a 22. Yep. For three. And he's going to continue to swoop over. You know what? No, he's not. He's going to hang out there. Um, Siona, you are up. All right. Well, before I do this, I'm trying. To, I don't know how the rules for this work. If because reading and actions, we I can ready a use of a spell from an item. I can't see why you wouldn't be able to, because you would be use the the action is using the item, right? Right. And it just. I think so. That's just a weird. It's it, again. They they word these things so poor. Yeah, but I, I'm going to say that that's that's how I would interpret it. I mean, you're going to use the item. You're going to use the ability of said item. Okay. So she is going to move up into the air mantle right here. Yell okay. at Raz to, you know, get the hell out of the way of the hippogriff, and she is going to ready the. Battle axe to cast burning hands for whenever Raz is no longer between her and the hippogriff. Couldn't couldn't she move up just north of me, just straight above me? I would hit Thongrim. Oh, okay. Yeah, burning I'm hands is sure, a cone of fifteen feet. I'm pretty sure if I cast it from right there, I would not get the air elemental. Oh, I yeah. see what you're doing. So get the hell out of the way, and she readies the action, and her turn is done. Okay. All right. So this bird down here on the far bottom left, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, comes swooping in. First wisdom saving throw. For 14, so half damage, because that's that was the DC. So Elden, so we get five. Yeah. Okay, so that now it's going to um, because of pack tactics, it gets advantage on this attack because you are engulfed in the air elemental. So an 18 is a hit. hit. For six. Will, join me in the DM chat real quick. I know, though. I know what you've got to do. Hold on. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm just making sure, because this is the first time we've had to deal with this. Yeah, i got to go. I, gotta, I, I just read it a minute ago. Let me find it. So it's, I know it's over here. I'm going to find the DC. Oh, that's, that's an interesting DC. This could ruin everything. That is, that is not my DC. Okay, let me roll this on hers. Oh, that's much better. Okay. I'm assuming that's a save. Yeah, it has to be a 15. I almost rolled with Corrin. He has much worse, <laughs> much worse wisdom saves. Okay, so we are good then, yes? Yes. Okay. All right, so the bird... Uh, sweeps down, manages to land some damage on uh, Siona. Um, and uh, it's going to stay right there because I don't know how we haven't figured out how this works. Uh, flanking, if y'all are engulfed in the stupid thing. Um, so he's just going to hang out there. Alright, so Hippogriff um Number the Western Hippogriff. Um, what's he gonna do? Okay. 
I don't know why that would happen. He's going to fly around here and right there and he's going to ready his claws in case anybody gets within these you know within reach still on top of the tower and now the gm is now realizing what a stupid freaking move that might have been right, i'm testing something so to ignore this yeah okay good um Okay, so that said, um, Corin, you are up, and there is currently a gigantic hippogriff sitting on top of the closed uh, trapdoor. So you are currently trapped inside of the tower. All right. Well, I'm going to beat on the trapdoor a little bit and be like, "Well, that was fun." I mean, you want to try to fling it off? I mean, you could try to attempt to see you know, um, athletics. Well, he's pretty weak. He's pretty weak on a ladder holding a, a short uh, yeah. crossbow. I don't. He will just okay. Um, put the cross, you know, climb back down until I'm just standing on the actual ledge and ready the cross. Actually, I'll stay where I'm at, readying a crossbow in case the door opens up and I see somebody. Okay. And he's done. All right, night number two. Uh, who has successfully finally scaled the wall um, is going to walk back away from the edge a little bit facing everybody and he is going to draw up his uh, he's got a short bow I believe it is it is a short bow and um, Raziel give me a low or high low Okay, so he is going to draw up, he, he's going to aim at Siona, but there's a bird there, and I'm assuming he's, there's a really low chance of him hitting the bird, right? Okay, it just gives uh, some sort of cover. Yeah, but that <laughs> seems like half cover. God, rules is written on this stupid thing. <laughs> you, could, you could say it's, it's half, half cover. If the cover works, then the cover got hit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, then he's going to be smart enough to go, well, that's not going to work. And he's going to he's gonna shoot at what he's got line of sight on, and he's going to fling it at Raz then. Well, he's not stupid. Raz now, that is not, you know, there's no flanking on that. That's just straight... Is Nerdin. Doesn't matter. 10-10-10. Ten, ten, ten. He, uh, he was still prone. Um, because it has not his turn has not rolled around like it is right now. So, Raz, you are up. You are prone. I'm assuming, because this thing, this is like a large whatever monstrosity, I can move here. I, I would still be within the birds. No, you were, you were still threatened. But yeah, you are. Uh, it's you, yeah. You're not an opportunity attack until you leave a threatened space. Okay. Cool. So I'm that's going to, yeah. I'm going well, to move there. Actually, I'm going to move. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move there. I'm going to attack this bird. Okay. Oh, well, before you hold, yeah, before, before that you happens, do that, yeah. the triggered event goes off. So burning hands, which is cast at fifth level or third level. Right. Ninth level. Ninth level. All right. So it has to be from. That seems a bit much. The fifteen foot cone. I know. Now I've got to go look it up because that's not what I envisioned. What's the page in the DMG? I know you've already looked it up. Hold on, I'll just post it. Oh, for cones? It's a 15, 15 foot cone. Cone is 15 feet wide at the end. Yes, but the way that they do it on grids is what's got me yeah. questioning it. 
And Thanathors. Thanathors. Thanathors has got it somewhere. And this is what you've got drawing is, doesn't match what I had in my mind. So I don't want to screw you over in case you're right. But if you're not right, then I want to screw you over. <laughs> Why that's such a, like there's like one page with pictures. It's so hard to find. There it is. Oh, 86. Oh, no. Yeah, 86. I skipped right past that. It's, it's, literally, it's literally like we have one, two page. pages. If you light up a circle, a 15 foot circle around it, around Siona, like my, my aura is. Yeah, because I'm envisioning what you see there on uh, page 87, the the grids there. So it would look like oh. three three foot cone. 87 of which? Xanathars. Oh, I don't have Xanathars. It might be slightly, uh, might it slightly too wide. Hold on. I want too symmetrical. Oh, I was I guess I was asking, wouldn't it be? Similar to like if you put a, a an aura a circle I screwed up the thing. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out if you which way you can do it without hitting Thongram and just hitting the other ones. Well, this, this is what they said to do: is you put down a dot, like you you pick squares. Corner. It's easier than drawing. Yeah. So you would do you it do from... This. You, do, you do one, then you do two, and then you do three. Every, yes. every, you pick. You, you start with three, then you take one less until you get back to the caster. So let me take that and draw that out. It's That's lines. what I'm... So that I was is drunk. I had the... One, I was doing two, two three. Items. I was doing that. Like that, right? Those, those seven squares? With the red dots? There we go. That's that's a 15-foot cone. Okay. The question is, can I get both hippogriffs in it? I don't think you can. Well, so yeah. So yeah. I want to rotate that. I want to rotate on the corner. There you go. But that's not on me yet. I thought I actually could. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll let you decide. It's it's on the hairy edge, but let's. I'll, I'll go ahead and allow it. We'll and we'll say the one on the top left gets because it's there. Who I'm going to say he gets half of whatever it is because it's. You get a saving though too. So yeah. All right. That did not ask me to upcast. Hold on. Why did it not let me upcast that? Sorry for the rules lawyering. Just wanted to make sure that... That's fine. I mean, we, we don't do cones very often, so it's always... Why is it not letting me... Maybe I need to do it from a different place. No. Come on. Is the card? How about this? I will just switch it over to spell card. Uh, now it's at mask. Okay. So it's eight d six, right? That's what it should come yeah. up to be. No, it's eleven d six. Eleven d six. Okay. Yeah. We have sweaters. Yeah. 38 damage to... Alright, but then there's a saving throw? Yes, dexterity okay. saving throw. Alright. For me, for her, that's going to be only a 13. Okay, so... Wait, is it based on the on the NPC, or is it based on the... The, cast, the casters. Alright, so dexterity saving throw, I get two... There goes most of those charges. Uh, 
All right, so the one on the top right saves. The one on the top left saves. Error elemental, one second. Does not save. I say I cast it from inside of him, he better not save. <laughs> so, it's half damage, so that's 19? Yes. I cannot select my little blue boxes and delete them. That's weird. Okay, so as all right, so the one that was fluttering over the air, hanging out, ready to his action, he was engulfed in these flames and managed to just fall down and just crash into the ground in a in a blaze of glory quite literally the one to the north is currently singed and is hurting um and thongram's mouth is just watering due to the uh the the smell of this charred feathery flesh of the uh of the hippogriff uh howsomever the uh the air elemental let me make sure that i that was fire uh so Yes, he managed to take the full brunt of it, uh, and the air boiled away the uh, the mist and the water vapor that, that the air elemental consisted of. Um, and and I imagine if you have any other envisioning of what happens with these this just blazing hot fire that came ju emanated from this uh, the axe. No, but Stanley like kind of just like looks at it and, like. A little bit of wonder in her eyes, like, wow. He also thonger, I'm like, that's how you kill birds. Okay, so, Raziel, you've moved out of the way, and there's a whole hell of a lot of chaos that just erupted behind you as you left this space. So, you were, I imagine Raziel's not necessarily facing this fire as this you know, you're like walking away slow motion as this explosion erupts behind you. So, do you have any sunglasses you can like put on as somebody screams like, yeah! You know, kind of a la CSI Miami. you have anything? I, I, take, I take the hand that I use to throw out the horns and I use it to shield my face from the massive blast of fire that just crested my head. And uh, after the, the wind has died down, I'll go ahead and shoot a blast of that bird just to the north of it. That is a hit. Nah, yeah, just a little bird. For six. And I guess I'll hit him again. Hold. I to go after the big targets. What, I was what, what did you do to the small bird? Who I shot it right in the ass. Well, projecting we're gonna, it 10 feet. We're going to say that it had half cover because Thongram's in the way, but he would have hit him anyway. <laughs> um, so 10 feet. Wee! All right, next. Uh, I guess the second blast will go towards the bird to the northeast. Or east-northeast, whatever. This one? This one? Yeah. All right. So that would have been the 14 to hit? Ah, yes. 14 does hit. Nice. Another six. All right, there are tufts of feathers flowing down. You hear that just as it's you know it's you know bloodied. You can see some bird guano has kind of fallen out of its um, you know as it's taken some damage. 
Okay, I will bonus action transfer my hex to the big bird next to Thongrim, giving it disadvantage on cough, cough, strength, ability. Aha. Uh -huh. And I will stay put. All right. So the bird that just took uh, some damage here, it's going to, as it's swooping around, and it's going to swoop down whoosh, right here to the north of Thongram, and it's going to attempt to, uh, you know, peck at him again, again with advantage. 14, though, is going to be no dice. Um, so he's going to continue to fly off this way through these magical blue dot, dots that have shown up. Uh, Thongram, do you want to take an uh, opportunity attack? Uh, Thongram, uh, I don't know if you heard me or not. Uh, opportunity attack or not? That robot voice going. Oh, sorry. I think it's me. My phone's. Yeah. My, uh, my computer seems to be overheating or that's not good. Um, okay, so uh, uh, opportunity. You say opportunity attack. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. I'll take one. All right, lay it on us. That is a hit. Plus two. Uh, doesn't matter. What do you do to the poor thing? Is it bird or hippogriff? Bird. I'll um. <laughs> Just kind of bash a bird, I guess. Consider the bird embashed. All right, so uh, this hippogriff sitting there still on top of the wall here, uh, he's going to turn around um, and first do a um, wisdom saving throw. For half damage. Eldon, what you got? Nope. No, I wrong button. You tell that bird what's what. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him with a text message. <laughs> Alright, so six. He's hurting. Um but he's going to move forward. And, and he's going to attack. Well, he's got options here, so. One, two, three, four. Eldon, I'm sorry. Yeah. The roll of the dice. He is attacking you. 16. Wait. Because cause taking a massive fireball from a different character doesn't taunt it at all or anything like that. All right, Matt, that's a hit. For 12. And I'm down. And the spirit guardians are as well. And now he's going to... He's going to strike out at Thongram for 19. Yep. All right. And that is six damage to you, sir. Eldon, you are up, and we need a death saving throw. Which is just a d20, right? Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. All right, that's one. Thongram, you are up. All right, so. Hippogriff, I will move. Over the trapdoor. Trapdoor's 
Trapdoor is currently closed, and either of those will constitute, f f well, actually, I think just this square will constitute flanking. Because Eldon is down. Not flanking. Well, Siona is not? Yes, but it's going to be the opposing corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you need to be... You need you need to be here if you want to. Okay, play. that's what I will do, and then I will angrily slash at the hippo. All right. That is a hit. Uh, let's just do the first one first. Plus okay. two. Well, so what do you do to this hippogriff? So I'm going to, uh, you know, bring my axe down, kind of bury it in the back of the hippogriff, assuming it's dead. I will um, basically leave it there and kind of grab a javelin for my second attack. That works. It does. I'm good with that. And I'll point it at the bird that's now. Remember, down you also have the left of Siona. You also have these two guys over here. All right, I'll sail over and now, nah, uh, yeah, I'll sail it over in his direction. I'm trying to find my ruler. Twenty-five feet. I can do that. All right, I'm gonna chuck it at this old boy here. And I think did fairy fire have constitution on it, or is just? I mean, because I still think they're. It the fairy fire's gone. Okay. All right. I was trying to see if they had disadvantage or what have you. So I'll have to pick up my axe next time too. So. That's going to be a hit. So, there uh there Hawkeye, what did you what did you do to this guy? I'm just going to uh, angrily chunk a javelin in this direction which I guess kind of catches him mid-chest and just kind of leaves him sort of hat propped up. Kind of his head will fall towards the left a little bit, so if his buddy climbs the wall, it'll be kind of the first thing he sees. All right. Uh, and then I'll um, move here and just make a lot of noise. All right. Um, okay. Cool. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Oh, what the hell? I know that, uh, well, shit. Um, roll me an intimidation check. What the hell? All right. I'm attempting to draw fire and not, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Draw yep. it away. Yeah, that's what, that's what I figured. All right, so the guy down the wall is going to attempt to scale the wall one more time and does nothing, and he's going to ready his action again. Uh, I'm quickly seeing a Monty Python looking over the wall. Yeah. All right, Siona, you are up. She's going to take the still warm axe and swing at the bird sitting next to her. That's going to be I assume hit. We, I assume it's just dead. Uh, it might be. <laughs> Should be. The plus seven base damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> All right. So, what happens to Still this poor what? bird? Oh, it's just 
it just burns in half. You know, cut it like like a hot axe do butter. <laughs> All right. Then she'll walk over to the battlements, pull out a javelin, and toss it at Jackass down. That gets disadvantage. That's still a hit. Or 11. You hit it on the nose. What do you do to that guy? Maybe this will help you climb. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think... I think that's everybody. You guys have cleared the tower of all all these bastards. Um, so we're out of initiative. And then I will give Elden 15 lay on hands. All right. I only really need one. I can divine intervention again, or channel divinity again. Yeah, but you never know. We might need it again when the actual guards show up. True that. Fifteen? Yep. You could probably throw a healing ward in yourself and max out your hit points, too. Possibly. Well, I, I, no, I wouldn't. <clears throat> no, I would, I would use... Um, your wounds. Uh, yeah, cure wounds because it's much more powerful, and I'm in—I I can touch myself. <laughs> we know. <laughs> oh yes. All right. So I, I know what time it is, and I know we're probably uh, chomping at the bit, but I promise you, we are almost done. Um, Lindsay's not here, so I'm, I have nothing to do until she gets here. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of us might need to watch it and then tell her all about it when she walks in. Yes, or no, even better, watch it and pretend that you didn't watch it. How are how is everybody looking? By the way, as far as health, call her and put her on speakerphone. I'm, I'm still at seventeen, that of, way. seventeen of thirty three plus the ten bonus at points. Siona is at forty of forty six plus ten hit points. So I just ask if anybody needs cure wounds from me. I'm good. I think I will do one on myself. Just a base one. Okay. So, uh, as y'all are uh, recovering I did, all this... I, I hold for my healing word. Um, so, is there anything that y'all want to do while y'all are still up here, remembering why you were on the top of the tower to begin with? Go check on... What's his name? Okay. So, Larch is... He is unconscious. You can see that his... The, uh, the ceremony had not fully taken place, uh, uh, so he had not yet been fully sacrificed to Talos, uh, the god of the storms, uh, because y'all managed to subdue Proskler uh, right before he was able to bring the, 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 the daggers, the ceremonial daggers down. Um, so uh, you see that he's hurting, uh, probably, and he is unconscious at this point. Um, so let me see what else. Um, One point to get him awake. And Corrin will come up and drop this guy's self. So. Okay. So he is, he is conscious now uh, due to this, uh, this point. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just, we'll just kind of move this uh, ahead a, a good bit. Is there anything else that y'all want to do um, before you leave the top of the tower? Corn wants to loot that guy's body. Which guy? Uh, the the priest guy. The priest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you find um, there is a small uh, solid silver pendant uh, that he's wearing. It's in the shape of a gust of wind. Uh, you can gauge that it's worth about 50 gold. Um, you also notice this uh, strange device um, attached to his back. Uh, it's unlike uh, really anything that you have uh, you have seen before. 
Um, but it uh, it appears. Uh, let me see. Um, there is something magical uh, around it uh, that you. I mean, you can sense. But the, the, this is a you. You see it as an interesting device. Uh, I don't know. I want to touch that. Oh, mage handed off of his body, assuming it's under ten pounds. I have my pack with me, so you can drop it. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we're we're gonna say it probably weighs about, you know, about that much. You you should be able to pull it, uh, pull it towards you. How much? About ten. If you can't, yeah, then Ras can help. Ras can help me with his, and we can double team it. Yeah. How heavy is it again? About ten pounds. Oh, okay. It'll fit in one of my side pouches that I, I'm not using, so we can put it in there for now. I mean, we'll it, it, it's, that... it's like a backpack type thing. I mean, he is he's oh, clearly wearing Double. this thing. That, in case it happens to be also a... Yeah, let's just pick it up. I want to make sure, make sure it doesn't like explode when we pick it up. Right. Okay, I'm going to back away. Go over towards the... Man, y'all don't trust me at all. Nope, don't. <laughs> So yeah, I I go back to the limit of mage hand and lift it off his body. Okay. So as you as it lifts off, you see his arms kind of peel away. You know, as it kind of you know you're trying to pull a backpack off like a limp child. You know, and it's so as the as the backpack comes off, nothing happens. It's it just sits there. It is it is inert. All right, well, I guess I will go over there and pick it up. Okay. So you, you get it in your hand, and you notice it's kind of, you know, it's it's fairly sturdy. Um, you see that it's got the loops that warp, wrap around your arms. Again, it's worn as a backpack. Um, and you notice that there's this little triggering mechanism that would reach around on your right hand as if something, you know, perhaps Proskler was planning to use this for something. Well, I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm not actually going to put it on. I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, let's let's kind of get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything right. of value on any of the uh, guards no. that were up there? No. That said, um, so you make your way down from the tower, and uh, you you take um, you're taking um, what's his nugget Larch with you, uh, and you manage to take it back to. Uh, uh, to the, the the main household um, uh, and explain uh, as he goes through uh, Larch explains to you that he was taken by Benesi's, uh family her and her brothers um, and he realizes that he knows he was going to be sacrificed uh, to try to bring favor of Talos uh, hit their god Talos back to them um, also while wreaking havoc on, on the uh, the party uh, that uh, uh, Mr. Saj was was having um, as you uh, as you bring him back to his uh, to his household, uh, you notice that uh, Nelvin Dejun is not there, but he has left orders uh, uh, with the, the Paladin Elise. Um, uh, this Paladin is uh, Larch's trainer and mentor, uh, and, and and the. Uh, less basically, um, she's very grateful to see him returned, uh, and even though the state that he's in and damaged and bruised and battered as he is, is pleased to have her pr protege back. Uh, and his matron uh, thanks the uh, thanks you all uh, for rescuing uh, rescuing uh, the, the squire uh, with a note from uh, Nelvin uh, thanking you as promised um, with a payment of 150 gold uh, for your. For your efforts, um, the word of this has uh, quickly traveled. Uh, quickly travels through the this uh, through the party through the estate uh, as the evening winds to a close. Uh, people are aware uh, of your involvement with this in the, in the, in the renown, as you would of as you'd say of uh, bloodbath and beyond. Uh, these newcomers to the city, uh, you have made your, your name known uh, to many people within 
uh, within the, the city uh, due to saving uh, Larch here. And it appears that you have uh, garnered some favor from, uh, from Nelvin, uh, perhaps for future use. So Larch would probably be, people would probably want to come up to him a lot and be hearing his story and everything. Yes. And uh, whatever, we will gladly give him some sort of free, uh, some free hardware, whether it be a sword or a shield or some armor, you know, that he can kind of mention as he's, you know, being shown the rounds over and over again. You know, all of course free, you know, hopefully to, so that this thing doesn't happen again. Is how we'll pitch it. We'll pitch it sort of like, hey, we, you know, if you had better weapons, maybe you wouldn't have gotten taken. So here you go. And then if it comes up in conversation, you know, there you go. That's cool. Question, question for the DM. Shoot. You said large as, as we approached him at the end, he was unconscious. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That is what I said. Uh, hopefully I didn't back myself into a corner with anything, but yes, I, I feel like he was unconscious at that point. Nope, that sounds right. I just wanted to make sure that uh, if he was not unconscious, that we would have to uh, maybe explain what he see or didn't see during that. But if he's unconscious, that is not a problem. No, but other people did, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, so, as the party winds down, and this will show y'all for reminding me of things, um, so, the uh, there were some people that, as they were getting to this, and, and obviously this was quite a spectacle with all the air and all the the magic, all the stuff shooting around. It you know made a scene, so people did notice this. Uh, but through it all, there you know you get back to the party and through all this jubilation and celebratory stuff, Eldon was uh, approached by a couple of people that did. Uh, clearly see him cast uh, some spells as they were looking down, uh, looking over at the wall from their buildings. And they have basically bribed him, um, basically telling him, if, if you don't pay them 60 gold, they will find a way to get this city watch uh, after you. They're bribing me to do that? So they're, yes. They're paying me? They're no, paying me to keep quiet? They're, okay. they're, no, you know what I'm they're saying. Extorting. They're extorting you for 60 gold. Oh, oh. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Me and my words. But yes, they are extorting you. Where, where are we at when this happens? I was happy with being bribed. Uh, somewhere near the Saj Estates. Did Corin see this? Uh, we're going to say maybe. Um you know, I would have said they would have they would have pulled him aside um, when y'all were in the group. So I'm, let's just say no. They pulled they pulled him aside one, you know, around a dark corner or something, saying, "Little gnome, we saw what you did." How so, tough did they look? <laughs> do you really want to scratch that itch? <laughs> I, w I want I want to know what I what I saw, how tough they looked. Uh, well, let's say that they are some uh, gangly-looking human thugs that uh, tower over you. Um, th you know, one of them appears to be wearing something that looks like maybe it could be, uh, you know, some sort of, not necessarily official garb, but something that looks City Watch-ish, but you can't really be certain of it. Did we notice Eldon get taken? Are we just walking on blissfully unaware? I would say kind of blissfully unaware as this kind of story is wrapping up. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to wrap it up with a bow so we can move on to something new. Um, to be perfectly honest. Um, Doesn't sound like I'm being wrapped up with a bow very much. But. Well, yeah. <laughs> so the choices are uh, you can either... Uh, do you do you pay this or do you take your chances? Um, hold on, just one. How much are they asking for? Sixty, because they noticed it on two different occasions. I think that's area breach. 
I don't even know if I, I don't think I even have that much, so. You can ask for it all you want, I don't have it. Okay. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, I, a persuasion check? Yes. So he looks at you and says, that may be true. How much you got? I'll, I'll give you 20 gold to keep you, keep you silent. Make it 30. All right. I think I have that. And I'll rummage through my bag and pull like one coin out of the time and hand them to uh, There's one. There's one. And there's one. You see that one of them is starting to get a little anxious. Come on, man. Make it, make it snappy. I, I, I got to get these out. I mean, trying to find them all. But yeah, I'll get them to the... You know, I'll start. Yeah, the 30 is fine. Much obliged, sir. And they take their coins and they shuffle off into the darkness. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I, I want to <clears throat> make sure that I get a good look at them so that I remember them. Okay. Um and then I'll get I'll get that to you via email. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, we have finished up this this first thing. The party has come to a close for the evening. People are going back to their homes. Uh, the lights and the fires are beginning to dim down, and it, you know at the early hours of the morning. Uh, and so Mole Master is going to attempt to get back to uh, some semblance of normalcy for the next day. Um, but at that point, we will call the session. Unless there's anything else y'all need to know. I want to know these guys for a second. I don't know how to get that money back. <laughs> El Eldon, do you tell anyone about your little encounter? Oh, I, I will eventually tell you all about it. Um, at the, you know, once we're... I mean, if, if we're saying we're heading back to the, to the forge or to the bloodbath and beyond at this point, then yeah, I would definitely share that and say, I've got a good look at these guys and we're going to be you know, keeping an eye out. All right. And no, you guys did not. You, you guys left the guys in their cage. Um, so you might eventually, maybe you'll go back and check about it, but it, you didn't really think about it as you go through. Or at least I didn't think about it. So yeah, we, it, we got whisk out there pretty fast. So. Yeah, is that something you sure so I I the, the guy up there had the keys or something, or, or we had the keys. So I guess we could have tossed it to him and say that we found it on the body of the other. Yeah, yeah if we're gonna if we're gonna walk out in front of them, we had to do something. Yeah, yeah we had to go past them. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so screw we'll, those guys. <laughs> take that. So yeah. Okay. So you're right. And I think you did have the keys at some point because somebody had to lock the door. Um, and I believe you said that you threw it away or that you don't know what happened. Uh, so we'll, we'll say that as you were walking out, say, Hey guys, we found the, found the keys. You let them out and there. They were grateful for being here. Right, thank you for taking care of this. I hear that the city, you know, the, 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 the soldiery and all that stuff, they're on their way. And they were just thankful for making it out alive. They heard all the noise and all the stuff going on. So they were obviously panicked what was happening in their cage, uh, just above them by, you know, 15, 20 feet. So uh, and then they were, Hoping that the floor didn't cave in on them. Huh. I suppose we'll call it even for all the body disposal they're going to have to do. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, cleanup duty is going to be a pain. Alrighty. So, uh, at this point, uh, we'll say that you guys have made your way um, back to uh, Bloodbath and Beyond to, to, your, uh, to your storefront, to your HQ. And uh, we'll start again uh, on the next the next day when we come back um, when we come back next session. Mm -hmm.